hi hello everyone this is Ashraf okay in this video I'm going to show you on how to use look cut tool okay look cut is a tool that used to split a, a loop of faces by inserting new edge loop intersecting the chosen edge all right let me show you for the loop cut what you have to do is just press ctrl r and then now you will see loop this is a loop cut okay again i'm showing it to you okay when you press ctrl r okay so now this new uh, edge that appear around the objects that's what we mean by a loop cut okay so it cuts actually it cuts the faces the edge and vertices okay and add new face and new vertices there okay let me show you again okay by default we hold <coughs> at this area this area this area we have one face one face one face one face one face like that but if we add loop cut control r and then click right click and then now this loop cuts have split has separate the face into two previously it's one now it's becoming two different faces here okay all right let me show you again on how to do that okay undo sorry okay right J mode okay let's say I add new mesh cube okay and you go to edit mode by pressing click here or press tab in your keyboard and you can right click at loop cuts where is the loop cut here it's not here but you can use uh, <coughs> shortcut key control R control R and you bring your mouse to any edge that you like that you intend to make loops cut okay let's say this one put it here and right click so now you have your loop cut around the mesh or you also can do vertically now you have four faces here okay in this side you have four faces one two three four at this side we have two faces at this side we have two faces this is four faces all right that is the first uh, way on how to use the loop cut you also can add loop cuts numbers by sorry my okay by scroll up and scroll down Okay, after you add control r you add loop cuts you can scroll up and scroll down to add numbers of cuts okay scroll up see it's increase the numbers of loop cuts oh scroll down to reduce the number of loop cuts okay again let me add okay go to object mode let me add another mesh cube okay move this cube here okay by using this second cube go to edit mode press tab all right control r okay by default you will have only one loop cut but if you scroll up you can have two loop cuts three loop cuts four loop cuts and as many as you want all right so let's say we did it at one or two here okay and you just left click sorry right click left click right and then what you can do let's say you this loop cut is being active okay you can manipulate you do you can do the manipulation let's say you want to move see now you have different shape by moving the edge you have different shape okay what else you can do you also can 
maybe you want to resize this face press s you resize you can move also okay different shapes okay or oh, so you can select any edges here sorry any vertex here shift move it there so you have different form okay all right <coughs> okay another thing okay let's add another mesh cube mesh and we're going to bring it here okay edit mode all right control r let's say we just use one and then you press s shrunk all right cool we can make s make it bigger yep okay this loop cuts can be used on any mesh okay let's say i'm selecting the cylinder now okay so the cylinder okay object mode control r okay control r yeah so what we can do here select the face this one we scale it down yep mm -hmm. so we have different shape okay so like a can what else and loop cut okay again object mode shift a mesh let's say mm, a cube again okay bring a cube here all right a loop cut okay mm -hmm. can also do like this control r Okay. All right. So, how to select loop cuts? If you do like this, you shift one by one. It will be a very time-consuming. Okay. How to select loop cuts in just one click? Okay. Just go. Uh, click alternate and click one of the loop cuts that you want okay let's say here see now it's selecting all loop cuts okay if you just press one then it's only select one cut okay let's say this one all right okay if you select like this you press shift 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 see sometimes it's not selected and it's quite time consuming okay so it is better for you to s press alternate hold and left click so now you have selecting all around loop cuts okay then you can move let's say the position of the original loop cuts is in the middle you can move or you can we call it a slide <coughs> you can slide to any new positions okay that like okay from these positions maybe you can do some modification you want to extrude please view my extrude tutorial okay you can extrude to make it new object all right let's create new object by using loop cuts okay loop cuts and extrusions okay what i want to do is i want to model a table a desk a simple desk a simple table where you have a uh, tabletop and four legs okay by using only one cube and we're going to use the loop cuts as well as extrusion tool all right so go to okay go to edit mode okay first we select the face this face and we move face here all right 
this face okay make it bigger okay this is the tabletop all right and then now we add loop cuts two loop cuts here control r uh, scroll up and then this one i want to resize i want to slide at x axis s x so now you see the loop cuts are moving uh, against each other over right there all right so another cuts here control r you bring your mouse there two loop cuts okay this one s y so now in face selection i have new faces here all right so now go okay middle mouse and look at bottom you select this uh, face one two three and four sorry you press shift make sure you press shift 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 now you have four faces being selected and you press extrude e you extrude and you bring it down now you have a table all right it's very easy okay you go to object mode okay you rename this object this cube to table plane and it's ground so now we have table so that's it for the tutorial of how to use loop cuts and how to model a basic table by using loop cut and extrusion tool all right until then See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.